That's what you are about to be empowered with now by the Lord. You are about to be empowered with the fearful judgments of God. Do you think God will leave his true prophets to just be talking? No. The fearful judgments are about to be unsealed. That's why I told you prepare for war. I learned something in my prophetic journey. And that thing is this. If you want to know the cities where Satan dwell, or the cities with the most corruption, are we still together? When you bring the word of God, the undiluted word of God, check the reactions of the cities. The cities that react negative the most is the cities where... I, Corruption can be mapped. Tell your neighbor, corruption can be mapped. Errors can be mapped. The only way to expose the territories where error is most concentrated is to bring the judgments of God in its purity and accuracy. And the area, the territories that react the most, they react negatively, they rise and you now do your findings. You now discover that from your census, more of this kind of reaction came from this territory. Just know that that territory is the home of the corruption of your nation. There's a territory that the corruption of the prophetic in Nigeria dwells. Have you seen the spiritual map? There's a territory dwells. That is why when you bring the word of God in purity, the people that sit where Satan dwell, they are the ones that will rise. And can I tell you something? There are fathers that corruptions can also be traced to. So since corruption can be mapped and one by understanding can, can know the mapping of, the, of density in areas where corruption dwell. If you are a prophet, you should know where the highest concentration of falsehood dwell in, in, in your country. Are we still together? I'm going to teach you how to map, I've taught you already, how to map corruption. Bring the word of God, the true word of God. Take a map, put it by your, by your bedside, by your tables, on your table. And when you bring the true word of God and it is published abroad, sit down and wait for the reaction of the people. If you are sure that what you brought was from God and what you brought attacked a certain error institutionalized in your territory, wait for the feedback of the people because their feedback will show you where the throne of Satan dwell and the place that has the highest concentration of that kind of corruption. No, they will react. Aye. They will react. And then you can begin to check and say, Hey! This is the part of Nigeria that has this kind of people. And then the next phase is to check their fathers. You will see a similarity. They will all center around two, three, four types of individuals. They, all of them, they will center around the same individuals. Then you will now know the altars that are betting such corruptions. What I'm teaching you is practical. It is in this spiritual knowledge you will now discover that the remnants are indeed few. There is a place where Satan dwell and Antipas will always be sacrificed. In those places, what you will find are the sacrificing of the genuine servants of God. Antipas will lose his head in those places. In Nigeria, when I did my mapping, I saw the south-south. I saw the southeast. I saw some regions of the eastern Nigeria. And as touching the prophetic, the Lord showed me that these are the places that Satan sit now dwell. Meanwhile, in one of those cities, 
God raised one of the greatest servants of God there. Pa Benson in Dahosa. But after he left this world, that city became the place where Satan dwelt. So if you want to intercede, intercede for the few saints that still hold the testimony of Jesus in those cities. You can map America. You can map Germany. You can map UK. Just go and find God and say, Lord, what is your word for this territory? And then if you gallantly bring that word of God, wait for the reaction and hold your map. As they are reacting, thank God Facebook has made it easy. Check with their location, write it down. Check location. Once you feel, I'm telling you the practical part of prophetic ministry so that you can know how to channel your prayers and your labors. Once you are done, after 24 hours or 7 days, you will see that a particular region has the highest concentration of people that rise against that testimony. Then, the next thing you must inquire is, who is their what? Father. You'll be able to trace the, the line, the lineage of corruption. You will trace it. Tra you will trace it. This is what is going to help you intercede. Intercede for the few brethren standing in those locations. Few witnesses standing in those locations. And just in case you travel there, you will now discover that truly, these people, we are never under the control of God's word. 